G'day there, Ray Corcoran here. In this week's video, we're gonna be going over the average weekly and annual earnings broken down by age in Australia in 2022. And for those of you that are new here, my name is Ray Corcoran. We do consistent videos on how to make more money, save money, and invest your money. So if you want to subscribe, please do so. Uh, and if you find the video useful, please give a like. It does help it reach more people. So every two years, the Australian Bureau of Statistics, the ABS, they do uh, the employee earnings and hours report. Um, and they did one with data concluding from May 2021, and they released it in January 2022. Now, for a lot of people, they're just genuinely curious about what other people are making and what are the averages. And it's important distinction to make that this is the average data. So unfortunately, average data is probably not as useful as median data, but because um, it can be skewed quite heavily by some big outliers. Um, but even still, it's still uh, somewhat of a starting point for you if you wanna get a bit of an idea of what people are actually making on a weekly and annual basis. Now, while this kind of information is quite popular uh, on YouTube, and that's why I'm doing a video about it, uh, personally, I actually don't think this is very, very useful uh, at the end of the day. And the reason I say that is that if you're under the benchmark, you feel bad because you're not doing apparently well, and if you do over the benchmark, you may put your foot off the gas. So you might stop trying as hard because you think you're killing it. What I would do, um, keep in mind, I, I have a marketing agency and uh, I get asked about benchmarks for marketing numbers all the time by clients. Like, are we doing good for our industry? And while benchmarking with um, the group, the age group you're in or with your industry or whatever it is, um, might be interesting for a lot of people uh, and with my clients i always tell them i'm like it's better off that you just try and beat your own numbers so set your own baseline and try and beat your own numbers because a lot of these averages uh can often be not that good and i think is um you're not being ambitious enough if you just kind of go you know a little bit above the benchmark and that's it for a lot of people they might be able to go way beyond the benchmarks so you don't want to sell yourself short and just go, oh, the average is 50K and I'm making 60, so I'm doing great. Um, I would say, well, if you, you're capable of making 100 or 200 or 500 or more, uh, then why not go for that? Take these numbers with a grain of salt. They are the official numbers, um, but it also shouldn't be something that you should use, uh, you know, so seriously, uh, and you should mainly focus on just trying to improve whatever you're doing. If you're at 10K, go to 20. If you're at 20, try to go to 40, and so on. Uh, so yeah, with that said, we'll go through the different ages. So 17 years and under is $199 per week, and that works out to be about $10,364 uh, spread out annually. And to be honest, this feels pretty low. Uh, I know that when I was 17, uh, when I was 14, uh, I was working at McDonald's, and I was still at McDonald's when I was 17. Uh, so to be making uh, 10,000 a year, uh, it does seem a little bit low, to be honest, but I guess it averages out across everybody. Next up is 18 to 20 years uh, with a weekly average income of $567. And that works out to roughly be about $29,500 uh, when you spread it annually. Now for 21 to 24 years old, um, the weekly average was $877, which works out to be about $45,500. Once we get to the 25 to 34 year age range, it does start to jump up a little bit with the weekly earnings to be $1,320 and the annual earnings ending up being $68,600. As we get into our 30s and 40s and 50s, obviously this is when uh, earning potential starts to really surge. Uh, for a lot of people, you know, the, the classic phrase that I was taught was first you learn, then you earn, and then you return obviously by giving back to the next generation. Uh, and this is very, very true in the stats as well. Uh, you know, you spend a lot of your, uh, you know, uh, teens and 20s and that sort of stuff learning and then, you know, as you progress through your 30s, you really start to um, uh, utilize those skills to start earning more. You've got a lot more experience by that point. So 35 to 44, it's uh, $1,623 per week, which works out to be an annualized amount of $84,000. Then we've got 45 to 54, which is around $1,700 per week. And this is actually where it, uh, it peaks in terms of the averages at $88,000, around 500. For our second last group, it is uh, 55 to 64, and they end up getting about $1,524 per week, uh, which is just under $80,000 per year. And then the final group we have is 65 and over, and they typically have a weekly earnings of about $1,200 per week, which works out to be just under $63,000 per year. So you can kind of see that the, uh, the growth of weekly earnings for Australians these days, it kind of goes like that and then tapers off towards the end. And while uh, it's kind of cool to know, I guess, what other people are earning to some extent, ultimately, most of your earnings, I've done lots of videos on how to increase your income. 
Uh, but ultimately, most of your earnings will come from you developing your skills, whether it's a leadership, technical, sales and marketing skills, uh, communication skills, whatever it is, uh, learning all those things will make you more valuable to your employer or whether you have a business, it'll make you more valuable in your own company. Um, and also having the guts to ask for pay rises, uh, you know, having the confidence to go for other roles, doing things like building relationships with recruiters who could get you roles, ideally multiple recruiters, and generally putting in more hours than everybody else is always a, a dumb but uh, surefire way to start getting yourself uh, ahead in your career. And for me on this channel, I've always been a big proponent of focusing on increasing your income rather than just only focusing on frugality. Uh, because I think that's a very limited way to look at building your wealth. Hope you found that useful in terms of like just getting a rough idea of you know what the different income levels are at different ages across Australia. And this is pretty fresh data. What did you think? Did you think these numbers are higher or lower than you expected? Uh, was there any numbers that you thought were surprising at certain ages? I'd love to hear your th thoughts below uh, in the comments. And uh, as always, if you like the video, please give it a like. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.